Daedalus made a name for himself as someone who constantly is innovating and pushing it. When I'm composing, I like to not have any limits. Here's this guy who looks like he stepped right out of some famous painting at the Louvre, and he's using technology from the future. He's just going for it and improv and every night it's a different show. And sometimes when you do that, things can go horribly wrong. When you take a computer and you start bouncing bass off of it, CPU and memory gets really taxed. So in the past, I'd be in situations when it is on a big stage and it's just happening and the music's amazing. There's nothing like looking in a bunch of expectant eyes and the sound ceases. It's terrifying. All you're left to do is just laugh nervously and hope that the computer can restart quickly. It would be a lot easier for him to just play it safe, but who wants to do that, really? Today we're gonna make a song from scratch. This will be the first time I'm using the Intel Optane. I'm running a program called Ableton. It's a series of, of sub-programs and plugins. It takes a computer that really can push. We're gonna take some simple audio sources and mangle them to a point where I don't think I've gone before. We're gonna start with percussion. And slowly grow out from there. The glockenspiel's doing something. The actual tape deck is literally the sound of pressing play. That this is only like 10 layers right now. This is just the tip of the iceberg. Let's make this into more of a strum. It just wants trajectory, it wants to go. Ableton is a hog of a program. Usually starts to crop up for me around like 12 to 15 tracks. Right now, we're at 27 tracks full of plugins, and I still think we could push this way further. I have all these old classic drum breaks, and they're sizable files, like over two gigs of data. We take this, double click, and poof. That's fast. I've noticed with the Optane, every gesture I've been making, it's been getting better. Awesome. All right, and let's hear it. We've made the song and we have to perform it. My weapon of choice is this. This is the mono. It allows me to take audio clips from the computer and bust them onto these grid of buttons and really play like an instrument. I can take these 10 fingers and create a symphony because the computer is under my hands. He's constantly looking forward to what are the latest technologies? How can I make this more exciting and fun for both me and the audience? We're just at this threshold where the technology is now enabling us to really include our humanity in the act of creation. <laughs>